How to transport your harps on a budget. Now, there are going to be many ways to transport your harps, but I'm just sharing with you one method that I use that's pretty easy, pretty simple. It doesn't take much of an investment, and you could probably put together this kit with things you have laying around your home. Now, you're going to need four things. First thing you'll need is a medium-sized towel. You will need the shipping dowels or blanks that jaw harps are mailed on. Now, if you didn't end up saving these when you ordered your jaw harp, go to your local hardware store, buy a one by one blank of wood, cut them to length, and saw a little notch in there. Next, you will need rubber bands. Most of the time, the rubber bands that jaw harps are sent on with end up breaking. They're a thinner rubber band. So I went to my dollar store. For one dollar, I bought a big bag of heavy duty postal rubber bands. The fourth and final thing you'll need to put this kit together is a piece of string, strip of leather, or here I have an old shoelace. The first thing we will do is we will take our harp and we will put it onto the shipping dowel, placing the trigger in the notch. Next we will take a rubber band and double it over several times, securing the harp into place. This will keep our harp from falling off our dowel, keeping our trigger intact and keeping it protected. We will do this with all the harps that you want to transport. Much of the time when I'm transporting harps, I'm you know taking them to show them to friends or new people, uh, nieces, nephews. I want to bring different harps from different parts of the world with different sounds so that I can give people a variety of what jaw harps can sound like. Now after you have all of your harps, fastened to your dowels with the rubber bands, we're going to take our, our medium sized towel and we are going to fold it in half lengthways. Try to get it sitting nice, with all the wrinkles out of it. Next we are going to take the first harp, most of the time I put the longest harps near the center. So we're going to place it on the edge of our towel and we are going to roll it until it's completely covered. And once it was covered with towel, we put our next harp in there. We don't, what we don't want to do is put two harps next to each other and have metal rubbing up against metal. We don't, we don't want to scratch up our harps. We don't want to damage them. So roll until it is completely covered in cloth. Place your next harp in and roll it as well. We're rolling it up like a, like a big burrito. Protected harp burrito. And we will do this the full length until we have all our harps rolled in like we want. Once you have them all rolled up, take your shoelace or piece of string and wrap it around. I'm gonna start in the center, leaving enough room to tie it once I complete making my rounds around there. I'll go once around the middle, once around the top, and once around the bottom in a zigzag sort of pattern to hold it all together. I will tie it, crossing my two strings over, just the same as we tie a shoelace. Two strings over, and I'll form a little loop, and a little loop, and that'll make it easy to untie. Now, I've had really good luck with this. I've had it in my luggage, I've had it bouncing around the car. There's a little bit of a crush area to it. It's not going to hurt your harps. Pretty forgiving. I've even had these go through airport security and my harps came out just fine. The next thing I like doing is whenever I bring my harps to people to show them, this provides an excellent way to display them all at once. When A lot of the times when I'm carrying these in, my nieces or nephews will be like, oh, what's, what's that? What's in the towel? It, the towel wrapped up like this already piques their interest. People are like, what, what be going on in there? So I'll be sitting on the floor, I'll be at a table, untie it just like you do a shoe, And then we can unroll it, displaying all our harps very easily for everyone to see. Then a lot of the times I'll play harps one by one. I'll tell people about different sound, the different sounds they make, where they're located all over the world, the different cultures they come, come from. And then when I'm done, I will roll them right back up. I've had excellent results with transporting harps this way. 
really nice for displaying them, really nice for keeping harps protected. And I put this kit together for $1. The only thing that cost me any money was the, was the rubber bands. When I get it back, to wrap it up, I'll leave a little bit of string there at the end for my, my tie. I'll go around the bottom. I'll go around near the top and do that same tie, just like you would if you're tying the shoes. Make your two rabbit ears, pull, and here we have all our harps ready to transport on a budget. Well, that's going to be it for transporting your harps on a budget. Like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Harp out. Thank <laughs> you.